Hello everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, this is a very short video in relation to my model matching file which is on flightsim.to and uh, we've noticed over the last few days that um, some liveries just don't work and refuse to work correctly with it and sometimes that's because of an issue with Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, the model matching, the way it talks to vPilot um, but some of it is because of the way that the livery configuration files are created by the um, guys who are creating the liveries uh, and sometimes they're just completely wrong so we're going to have a little look and compare um, so I can sort of explain what I mean when I try and explain it on the flightsim.to page so if I open vpilot so you guys can all see it um, and I'm going to need to open a number of different windows so bear with me vpilot aircraft so as we can see on this one um, we've got two aircraft in range or three aircraft in range with us uh, well now actually two out of range and only one in range which is that top one there which is my mate who's flying 10 minutes behind me and he's in the Iberia 3175 and it's an A20 uh, and it's um, correctly, mo correctly model matched to um, the Iberia A320 file Okay, and we can see that there uh, and earlier on there were numerous other files of flights that were all matching correctly as well for me. So you can see that was A320N AI. I'll just hide these. Uh, currently flying into Madrid so uh, I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. But whilst trying to sort of explain. So. Um, I think it's going to be. Not sure if we can see this, I hope we can if I bring up window capture. Notepad. So we can see here it's the A320neo AI and we can see the flight sim folder. Um, we can see that correct there. Uh, so A320neo Iberia it's got the correct model name and things like that in place uh, and we scroll down to here we've got ATC ID blank enable tail number uh, which you don't have to worry about and uh, ATC airline and that's just got the two commas so it's left blank uh, for basically uh, for it to be changed to any value uh, now more importantly he's got the ICAO underscore airline equals IBE line here and that basically points the simulator to recognize that it's for uh, Iberia and as we could see on that earlier dot aircraft tab on vpilot it was correctly model matching to uh, the Iberia aircraft flying 10 minutes behind me now if I go to an identical one two seconds I'm having to open loads of different tabs and things here so um, So that's the tab that I've just mentioned. Um, is it? Yeah, so we can see there Flight Sim, uh, it's got the correct AI thing on there. I'm not sure if that was on a minute ago. Um, but it's got ICAO airline underscore IBE for Iberia's uh, international three digit code. So it tells the simulator to point for that and it helps with our model matching rules. Now, if I go to this second example, uh, and I just need to try and bring that up for you guys appreciate the window is a little bit of a mess but bear with me uh, I'm not the best at this uh, I wonder if it's this one yep so this is the new uh, this is a, one of the new liveries that's been created and you can see instantly it looks very different so there's all these extra little bits that have just been bumped in for some reason uh, and this is an example of one of the liveries that does not match for whatever reason unknown to me um, let me just close a load of these. Just uh, sorting out the bits on the flight sim as I'm making my way in. So you'll have to bear with me while I just go direct to another waypoint.
So, as we can see on this one, it looks very different, as I was just explaining. Um, and he's got Iberia as an ATC airline, which is fine. Um, and he's got the blank tail number here. It's got a dash. Um, so that's not too much of an issue, but where we do have an issue is where livery creators just copy and paste other livery config files and change a few bits for their own one. Uh, which is what we can see is taking place here. They've got I ICAO underscore airline equals May. And I've seen this now in about 10 to 15 different livery files that I've been trying to play with to try and make sure that my uh, model matching tool is as accurate as possible, for zoom in there. So that's completely incorrect. Uh, and I found the same in a number of EasyJet liveries uh, and a few other bits as well. So this is where it's frustrating because if it doesn't work, we need to try and look into this ourselves to make a note of the things that are bouncing and unfortunately you have to go into your own aircraft config files and mend it. And we know Iberia is IBE. So that needs to be changed to IBE and the config file then needs to be saved. Uh, and little things like that will help the model matching point towards um, our aircraft so we can actually find it. A few other things that I found is, um, in fact here's an example, again a copy and paste. This is the so it's the exact same config file as the EasyJet but he's just amended a few of the bits at the top. So this is quite frustrating even though the Livrio is pretty amazing. Um, so we can see here underneath ICA I, I, uh, airline IBE we've got is air traffic zero but we've also got that here so it's just been copied and pasted um, and he hasn't actually checked for any accuracy with this uh, and this is this is why the model matching for some of these liveries just doesn't work uh, and until they actually check properly uh, we'll, we'll keep having to go into these and try and fix it ourselves as the end user if you like for want of a better word so ATC ID colour that's there as well ATC ID font that's there is air traffic zero is here is user selectable replicated there and uh, ATC parking codes is replicated there so really everything here is duplicated everything here sorry is duplicated uh, so that needs the old big fat delete button in addition to the ICAO airline so you have to go through look at one that does work as we just did and you have to try and match it so that it points to uh, the correct file name and things like that um, so give that a go in addition to a number of other things and hopefully he says hopefully hopefully uh, we, we can actually get a bit more success with our model matching rules um, because until that's done we're going to have to edit things uh, individually and, and I'm trying to try and I'm trying to get it out there so that people who are creating the liveries actually do it properly um, because we shouldn't have to go through and fix things that they've missed uh, but you know these things happen it is what it is uh, but I wanted to do this very quick video just to try and explain it to uh, everybody using my model matching file um, in the main it does work for me quite well which is why I've shared it with everybody and it is, it is taking absolutely weeks um, and it's being updated a lot so I can hope you I hope you can appreciate the effort being put into it uh, I have been listening to feedback and tweaking bits where I can um, just let me know what you think uh, try the things I've just mentioned and uh, also make sure you hit that subscribe button on my uh, YouTube channel for lots of uh, flight simulator videos uh, hope you all have a good day thank you for watching